help us understand the the counter argument because I, I think many people who know Athanasius know how much in the minority he was is that famous phrase Athanasius against the world it seemed like he was yeah, the only right. one standing right. for the view that you just described yeah what what did the Arians think about the incarnation or about Jesus's nature um Arius was operating I would say out of a fundamentally mythological perspective which was very common in that part of the world at that time who was Jesus well he was a bit like Hercules or like Achilles what I mean is he was kind of quasi-divine and quasi-human. So that now you've got the Logos in the flesh, and the two of them together form a kind of hybrid, semi-divine, semi-human. Does that make sense? Now, we might say, well, what a bizarre perspective, but it's not like a real human being that God takes on. Now, go a couple generations later at the Council of Chalcedon. What do you find there but a further articulation of the coming together of what they call two natures in one person, divine and human. Athanasius and uh, Council of Nicaea are proposing something really new, 